Hey guys, let us talk about how wasted Yvonne and Juicy J were last night. Yvonne started telling Millie and Olivia how Juicy J doesn't give her enough attention. She also said that she feels like the age difference between them is actually bothering her because she is 27 and turning 28 this year. And on the other hand, Juicy J is 24 years old. And she feels like sometimes Juicy J acts like a boy. So I think that the reason Yvonne is saying Juicy J isn't giving her enough attention, it is because of something that Juicy J said to Yvonne before they were even in a relationship. Juicy J once told Yvonne that he is attracted to her and Ipaling in the house. So he said the difference between the two of them is that with Ipaling, he would love to settle down with her and with Yvonne, it's more of attracted to her, her physical appearance, and also that he would like to smash her. Well, deep down, I think that Yvonne hasn't moved on from what Jessie J said on that day because she feels that Jessie J has deep feelings for Ipeling, which are stronger than the one that he has for her. On the other hand, Jessie J was very furious at the way Yvonne spoke to him. Well, he started saying all of the things that he has been doing for her, including washing her hair and even doing her laundry. <laughs> hey, guys, who would have thought that a whole rugby player dude will go in the big brother's house and in the name of love start doing laundry for his girl? Well, you may never know the extent that a guy will go to in order to impress his girl. Well, GCJ has just told us that. Not so long ago, people were dragging Ipeling that she is doing Luke's laundry. Now look at GCJ doing the very same thing and following in Ipeling's footsteps. He even went to Tati and told him how annoyed he is at Yvonne, the way that she spoke to him, and how done he is with her. Well, Tati told GCJ that he needs to calm down and think this through, he mustn't make a rash decision, and they need to talk with Yvonne tomorrow when they are both sober, because it is quite clear that they are both under the influence of alcohol. So eventually, Jesse J decided to sit down with Yvonne and confront her about the way that she spoke to him. Turns out, Yvonne doesn't remember anything. All of a sudden, she has amnesia. Well, even though she didn't recall what Jesse J was telling her, but she apologized, and after a while, they were making out. I mean, it is true when they say, don't involve yourself in two people's business. Because not so long ago, the two were fighting, and Jesse J was claiming that he is done with Yvonne, but now they were all lovey-dovey in Yemi's bed. Clearly, Yvonne knows how to make Juicy J melt because he completely forgot about ending things with her. Well, guys, that's it for now. Thank you for your time and thank you for watching. Please do like and subscribe. Bye.